So the files application on our iPhone is an amazing app. I use it all the time and I wanted to go and demonstrate some of my favorite tricks and tips that you should definitely use within your iPhone files application if you actually want to go ahead and kind of unlock the most amount of potential from it. Now the files app is great. It basically gets updated within every single iOS version. There's always little cool little things that Apple basically adds. Now the first thing I'll definitely tell you, which is one of the more basic things, is swiping all the way to the side and kind of getting an understanding of all the different folders that you have. So the locations basically means however different, you know, locations that you have of where files are stored on your phone. Also, if you do bring in some sort of external storage, things like SD cards or external drives, you can basically plug those in and those will show up on your files application right here, which is so cool. You can also add tags and do all sorts of other things too, and even add favorites of your folders, which is awesome. Now for most of my folders, they're not on my iPhone, they're in my iCloud drive. So if you make our way over to our iCloud drive, you can go ahead and create other folders if you want to. Just because there are folders here, you can create other ones if you don't like them. You can do that by holding down on this empty spot right here, and you can go and click on new folder, and you can go and start creating new folders and rename them whichever way you want to. That's a really cool thing and a really easy thing you can basically do on your particular device. Now on top of that, another big thing is the ability of scanning documents. So you can scan documents right within your folder, whether you're in this folder or another folder like this one, and you can do this by holding down on an empty spot again, and you can tap on the scan documents button. So click on scan documents, and this next page is going to come up, and it's basically going to allow you to scan the documents within your page. So from here, what you can do is you can go ahead and basically hover over a certain area if you want to or whatever you want to. You can go and click on the scan document button right there, and it's going to allow you to scan the document. Now you can do this within the notes tab, but you can also do this within this tab as well, which is genuinely a very, very cool thing. Now, if you want to hop out of it, you can always click cancel up here. Now, another cool thing that we have is basically the ability of compressing and decompressing zipped files. So if we make our way over to our particular folder here, you can see that sometimes you may download a zipped file within your iPhone. Well, if you tap on it, it actually has a built-in unzipper, which is so amazing. So you can tap on an icon just like this, and you can basically unzip files just like so. But did you know you can actually zip files as well? completely for free on your file, you know, files application. You can do this by holding down on that specific icon right here, and you should be able to see a compress button right there. So what you can do is you can go and click on compress and watch, it's going to actually go ahead and create a compressed file of that particular file right there. And it's a super cool thing. You don't have to go and download a separate application on your iPhone. And this is actually a lot nicer than even doing it on my Mac sometimes too. It's just really convenient of having that type of capability put in straight from my particular phone right here. Now, another cool thing you have within your files application is the ability of moving multiple different files in the same time, even to a completely new folder if you want to. So what you can do is tap on the top right corner once again, and you can go and click on select. Now, what you can do here is you can tap on multiple different files. So let's say I want to go and you know move all these files over to a different folder. Well, I can tap on all of them, and this little folder icon at the very bottom, if I go and tap on it, you can see it'll take me into this particular photos app or this you know, files application. So it allows me to move these particular files in a different spot. So if I go and click on, let's say this folder right here, I can go and basically click move. So instead of going through and moving one file over and over and over again, I can basically go through and just send one, you know, basically just do one you know, movement and it'll change everything at the same time, which is genuinely so cool. Now, another thing you can do is changing, you know, the file type of photos. So you can see right here, I have this image right here. Well, let's say I wanted to go ahead and kind of convert the you know way this photo is. But what I can do is I can go ahead and basically hold down on that particular photo just like this. I can click on quick actions. And what I can do is I can go ahead and create a PDF of this specific you know image or even convert this image right within this page right here. So if I want to, I can go and click on convert image and I can convert it into a JPEG, PNG file or a HEIF file if I want to. You can also convert it to a PDF, which is a really cool feature. So click on quick, you know, click on quick actions here, click on create PDF. I can go and create a PDF of that image, which is a very, very cool thing. So that's as you know, that's a built-in file type changer and you know converter inside of your particular iPhone. Now, one of the last things I'd recommend doing too, which is really cool, is adding color tags within your particular files. So what this allows you to do is it kind of allows you to organize a little bit further depending on what type of files you have. So you can do this by basically holding down on a specific, you know, icon like this and under tags, which is right there, you should be able to go ahead and choose a different tag that you want. So these can be, you know, indicated by like work or home or important or red or orange, whatever you want to do. 
So if you want to go through, what I'd recommend doing is adding different color tags to your particular you know, files. So you can see right here, this one I can have is red, and this one I can basically have as a different color too. And it allows you to just be a little bit more organized for your particular colors. So that's another option that you have too. So those are some of my favorite tricks and tips for my files application on my iPhone. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not only so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than one, more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.